Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Risk of Rain 2 modded, we're jumping in again and this time we are going to go in as the Gunslinger and give him a little go. It seems very interesting and we've got some interesting skills set up, basically we've got the Unload here which is going to basically allow us to stack damage as we shoot enemies which is really really cool. Uh, we've got this Accursed Arm which is a powerful curse that we can pierce enemies with. Uh, we've got our little dash and then we've also got the deadly eye here firing three precise shots that explode and slow enemies. Seems really good. Let's jump in and see what we can get done with this guy. I'm not very familiar with this character. I'm pretty sure this is a modded one. Um, although I don't actually remember. Bandit and Gunslinger I get confused between. But yeah. Seems like we should be pretty good. But yeah, consecutive shots are going to allow us to increase our damage you can see. It's slowly stacking up to the point where it's doing a lot of damage. And I think once we miss a shot, it then resets back to normal. But you can see it's going to be doing quite a bit. Let's try out our abilities here. So we've got our right click there. That's cool. We've got this here, which is our little dash. We could charge a lot of these. So movement is no problem whatsoever. And our R ability is these three powerful explosive shots we can get going on, which I quite like. I think they're quite cool. Right, let's pierce enemies with that thing. I really like this setup. This is a, a cool set of things that we've got going on here for our build. It seems like this guy's going to be pretty goddamn strong, to be honest. I mean, I just... To start with, I just love the movement on this guy. Being able to have these dashes that are able to be charged up and stored, and they seem to recharge pretty quickly, is really, really nice. Oh, Lord. I'm liking that that's piercing as well. Big healing item here. Unfortunately, not a great one, to be honest. Not a great one. Try and take a bit of another look around. We've got a chest near the teleporter over there. I like the fact that it's got slowing attached to it as well. That's really nice. God damn. This, it feels like the damage on this is going to go wild. I'll grab that. Is this leech seed? Replaces our piece in rounds. Um, attacking bosses increases attack speed. Oh, that sounds decent. I like the idea behind that. Okay. I'm getting kind of surrounded here. And we've not really found many chests either. But we're doing a lot of damage, so I don't mind. Right. Let's pop this a few times. Lovely. Get two of the same thing there. Nice. Bear enemies for flat damage on hit. I like that. I like that. Extra flat damage is not a bad thing at all. And we've got two chests over here. Buffs last longer. Debuffs last shorter. That's very nice too. Yeah, so it doesn't set them on fire. It just deals extra burn damage. That's really, really nice. We've got a few more of these... Uh, Oh no, is that a different thing? I think that's a different thing. One second. My apologies, I tried to sneeze really badly there. Yeah, I like this. I think we've got some good damage output going so far. Right, let's go over towards the uh, the teleporter, shall we? There was another chest back over there, I'm pretty sure. I wonder what sort of range we have on like our right click. Oh, very good range. <laughs> that's what. Can we can we get height with this? We can. Awesome. Being able to use that vertically is really nice there. Shock enemies on taking damage is kind of nice. We played around that in the last episode. It was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. Yeah, shocking enemies on taking damage. Kind of nice. Right, so the more we hurt this guy, the more damage we're going to do to him. So let's just keep wailing on him. Not quite a lot of enemies around for us. Let's... Try and be careful. We mean, we've got precedent to easily escape any damage that, that befalls us, really. So we shouldn't be taking too much damage here.
Okay, let's let's be a bit more careful here because we're taking some rough damage. I don't like that this boss can just keep spawning these goddamn beetle guards on you. Whoa! That was different. My R ability did like a, a cluster of shots. I don't know if that was because I was in the air or something. It did like a cluster though. That, that just fired three. So maybe it does something different while I'm in the air then. Oh god, this is fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, oh dude, it does so much more when I'm in the air. Okay, remember to use that in the air from now on. Where's the, uh, where's the orb on this stage? I don't remember. I don't think I can get it now that I've now activated the teleporter. It's dumped somewhere down here, isn't it? it can, there's a few different places it can be. I'm pretty sure one of them's up there. Can you guys chill out, please? There's so many of you. This is this has gone wild. This has. Just keep moving. Okay, get up here. We're doing good damage from over here, and nothing much can get us, so <laughs> this is working out. Bit of a weird way of doing things, but considering it's working, I'm not going to complain. It's not exactly the best strategy, but beautiful stuff. Dude, if you get so many consecutive shots, your damage goes wild. Absolutely wild. Right, I think we're ready to go. We unfortunately just got the goddamn Beetle Guardian. There's another chest over here that I missed though. We'll grab that. Ooh, that's a very, very good one to grab. We like that a lot. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Beetle Guard. Is that a chest down there? But it is. Eh. Stealth kit's obviously not very good, but we'll take it. Right. Not too bad. Let's get going. That's wild, that. I love that attack. Okay, next floor. Right. Already got something up here. Um, I don't know what this is. I'm going to grab this. Burns enemy. Oh, it just becomes one of our other items. That's a really cool idea, that. I like that a lot. I don't know what the Shrider Heresy does, I don't remember. But I, I think it's not good. I've got some good stuff up here. I think we'll wait around for some enemies to spawn up here. These enemies are all pretty easy so far. Yeah, this, this guy kind of feels like the gunslinger. But with a bit of more, bit more pizzazz. Good. What we get here? Reduce fall damage. We like that. That's not bad. Let's have the scroll. I can't remember what the scroll does now. I've had it before though. Increase random stat by ten percent. Yeah, nice. That's, that is that bugged or something? I swear it doesn't say that in the in the description of the skill. It says something about hovering, but yeah, that's that's wild. So you just keep healing each other, dear. I like the slowing effects that we've got going on as well. That's rather nice. We did have another chest up here, didn't we? At least I thought we did. Maybe not. My bad. Oh, this movement, this movement ability will be okay. You set me on fire, please. Thank you. All right, take care of everything else. Okay, that's enough setting me on fire. Now we're gonna die if you do it again. 
Basically, I just want to set, set me on fire because we've got roller pennies. And you get insane money from being set on fire. It's a little risky, but I think overall it's worthwhile. Oh, dude. Very nearly died there, but we leveled up and it saved us. Okay, here's a chest here. Do need some healing items. Good bit of shielding there. One drone. We don't have any drones right now. Okay. You you have wasted a lot of my money. I'm not paying more into you. How dare you. See, that's more like it. Cautious Slug, not awful. Not the best. But we do need some extra healing, so I don't mind it right now. Safety blanket, increased one-shot protection. We like that a lot, too. Another script. Um, 10% damage and 10% critical strike chance. Both of those are really, really nice. Keep you guys away from me. I see you, invisible folk. I think you're all beautiful on that. Okay, we've got double healing on the teleporter event, so during the teleporter event we should be okay. Got my face. Ooh, wasn't expecting that. Receive a night upon leveling up. Nice. We had that in a, in a previous episode. We're still kind of low level, so that's pretty good. And it does drop it on the floor, if I remember correctly, so... It's not like we force to take whatever item it gives us. Where's the middle thing gone from up here? We've got two chests here. I think that's pretty much it for this. I don't think I've ever seen the teleport be up here before. Very nice. More one-shot protection as well. Love that. It's money over time, I think. We don't see much else, do we? No. I think we're good to go. I think we are good to go. Unfortunately, we do not have a great deal of space to get away from this boss when it does its big explosions. We're going to have to jump off here. Which is not what I prefer to do. We got it. And again, we've got another yellow item, Genesis Loop. Not bad. Considering we've got that extra one-top protection, Genesis Loop might not actually be too bad. Okay, not bad at all. Quick and speedy stage. I mean, with this movement speed, everything's going to be kind of speedy. I like the extra boost we get from the healing there as well. Right. Ooh, I like this area at night. See what's going on up here first. Topaz brooch. Again, bleeding. Really good way to get some money early on. Temporary armor upon taking damage is kind of nice. I just cancelled my ability there. Oop. Genesis loop doing its thing. Firework bundle, lovely. Okay, good stuff. I want to use this scrapper here, so I'm kind of sticking around. Um, firework bundle we can get rid of. Verse we can get rid of. Old War Stealth Kit we can get rid of. Okay, cool. Just gonna say, I don't use Scrappers anywhere near enough, and I should, because they're very useful. They can yield you some really good extra items for ones that you're never gonna use, or never gonna, gonna get use out of, or miss. Is that a Golden Shrine? 
It is. 1,000 for the golden one. I've not done the golden area in a while, so maybe we'll go for that. Right, what, what's, what's going on with you? <laughs> right, we'll crack that. I haven't done one of these in ages, so... I'm curious to see if I can survive it. Right, we know where our teleporter is. I'm really curious about these guys. That, that, that type of... This type of champion. Or elite, whatever you want to call it. Nice. We like the horse hoof. Ooh, we got some sort of black hole thing looking thing there. Another flat arrowhead I really, really like. A chance to spawn an orb on hit that follows enemies and hurts them. We like that. Right, not much to gain over here. There's some stuff over there, though. Ooh. 5% of damage over time. That's really, really good. Although we don't have a lot of damage over time right now, I don't think. But in general, it can be very good. I do see something over there. Also see a try shop down here. More movement speed, of course. We lo we know we love it. Even with this ability, I still think extra movement speed is really nice. Okay, an armor for every enemy nearby. It's good. We've got a lot of things to stacking armor right now. It's good. Right, can we can we make this? Let me see. Oh, easily, <laughs> easily. Makes our life a bit easier than going across. Got quite a few bits and bobs over here as well. Seems to do less damage when I jump, though. Personal shield generator, don't mind that. Flashbang? Uh, I don't know. Do we want flashbangs? I will take that, thank you. I don't think I want flashbangs. I think I'm going to wait for a better 3D printer. Fireworks isn't exactly the best one, either. Drones get a missile barrage. Ooh, we definitely need some drones now, then, don't we? Right, remember to go through the golden portal after this. Don't forget about that. <laughs> okay, we're on the we're on the high damage now. Just keep going with this, the damage will keep stacking. Beautiful. Dude, we got... We've, we've been getting, like, literally every single one. Where's that golden portal? Should, shouldn't we have a golden portal somewhere? Ooh, dude, I like those... Portals that open up. Ah, oh, there it is, there it is. I said, I knew, knew we had a golden portal somewhere. We should be good to go on this boss, considering we've got this thing where we keep stacking more and more damage the longer we fire an enemy. We should be okay. Also, Shatter Spleen is going to be really good for us here as well. What the fuck is going on in this area, by the way? Like, I've just, I've just entered this area and there is so much shit going on. Try and take care of some of this funky stuff for a little bit, shall we? Can't remember exactly how you do this. You gotta activate so many of these things, and then it'll then the boss will spawn, and then after that, after that, you've got to activate the rest of them to be able to deal damage. Yeah, okay, this guy. This guy is well tanky. Luckily, he's not dealing that much damage to me, but he has a lot of armor. Okay, we got him. 
Right. I think it's once I once I activate four of them, the boss spawns. There you go, yeah. There's like two more, I think, before I can uh, kill you. Oh no, there you go. We, we've done it. We got him. Okay. Gotta be a little careful here. Okay, once you hear that noise, we know we're doing well. Okay, kind of ignoring everything else right now because it's just all the Marians. But Shatterspleen there did some good work. There is chests on this floor, isn't there? I'm pretty sure. That does a good bit of damage. We'll, we'll get out of the way of that. Okay. You're healing up a little bit from something as you... Check out you see that heal anymore. Immune? Ah, do I gotta go refresh the things? That I do. We got close to doing it in one go, but not quite. I don't even know if you can do it in one go, I'll be honest. Right. Doing good damage again. I like the fact that we're stacking the lead now as well. That's lovely. Right, there you go. That's you taken care of. Dude, the amount of yellow items we have right now is obscene. We have so many. Right. Chests. Are there any chests on the stage or do we get burned? I swear there's normally chests on the stage. Doesn't look like there's any chests. I guess we'll get going then. Right, let's go. I always thought there was chests on here. But I am mistaken. Either way, we got another... We got four yellow items now, which is just weird. <laughs> Doesn't happen very often, that. I like it. We do have one of you sitting there. Where's my big golden boy? Or does the golden boy only come out for the teleporter event? I think it's only for the teleporter event, isn't it? Right. Wait until we get that beautiful sound. There you go. Unfortunately, this guy, I don't think I'm going to be able to get many consecutive hits on. No, no, I got him, I got him. Okay, I think we got it, I think we got it. Another level up there as well. I've got to remember to take the item when I level up. I don't know what any of these do. I don't know what that one does, actually. I'll take that. Lovely. Right. Do we see any more of the enemies we're supposed to be killing in here? No. Grab that. Oh, another crowbar. Lovely. We like the crowbars. Okay, here's another one of you. That's definitely one of the ones we've taken care of. I don't know why you're fighting that, Giza. Um, hello. One of my boys has been, uh, has been taken over. I think I've still got to kill him is the worst thing about it. Oh no, ooh, ooh, ooh. I see the, the little buddy. Got him. See another one down there somewhere. There's another one of you. 
I think with these guys, it's just better to focus on getting consecutive hits and upping our damage slowly rather than using my other abilities. Because it just does so much damage once it stacks. Okay, two monsters left. One of them's over here, apparently. I see you, I see you. Just take a little while to stack up, though, is the only thing, but... Most enemies, it's enough to do some really good damage. Right, that's it, we got them all, we got them all. Right, so we're going to be taking a lot of damage here. Um, take the barrier. I think the barrier is going to be pretty good for us. Non-critical hits grant a stacking buff, increasing damage by 10. This is cleared upon. Well, that's kind of... Yeah, we'll take that. That seems good. Distract enemies, um, or attach it. I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. It seems weird and interesting. Right, keep moving this way. Ah, shit. I've been, <laughs> I've been trapped. Another crowbar. I don't know what the hell that thing is. But I have it now. Right, quickly check up here. We didn't check up here for chests. We've not really looked around for chests at all, to be honest. We've just been doing the void seed stuff. But we do have quite a lot of uh, void items to gain down here. Try to make sure to kill the... Uh, the little beasties when they land. Yeah, we'll go with Collapse. I like that. We still get blood, uh, bleed from Shatter Spleen, so... Get best of both worlds this way. What we got here? Um, chance to spread dots on hit, yeah. We've had that before, it's pretty good. There's another one. Um, high damage hits also create a shielding Nova, give more shields. Oh, seems interesting. And there's another one there as well, dude, this is crazy. Holy fuck, that's a lot of, uh, a lot of little beasties. Get corrupted extra life. Why not? I think that just corrupts all items possibly corruptible. Which sounds intriguing, to say the least. Summon Alpha Construct on killing an elite. I don't even know what I traded for that, to be honest. Um, my Aurelius thing, I think. My gold boy. Oops. Right, where the hell's our boss at? Um, our teleporter event. I've not seen it yet. Which means it could be either be up here or all the way down there. I well, went up here. Ah, there's that as well. We'll go grab that. Zoom, 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 zoom. We've not even, I guess we've not even looked for our legendary chest yet. It's just here, look. I always forget about that. Gain mass while stationary, lose mass while moving. I don't even know what that means. I don't know how that's beneficial, but it exists. Where the hell is the teleporter? I have no idea. So many barrier to care things. Where, where the hell is it? Where? Did the item fall or not? Okay, we got it. <laughs> I, I legitimately have no idea where I'm meant to be going here. 
Where could it be? I guess it could be underground. I've not really checked under here, have I? Okay, yeah, it is under here. Right, let's give this a go. I was about to say, I'm hoping that saves me. I didn't know if it would. Into the blue portal. Let's do it. We've not got a lot of money to go with us here, I don't think. Yeah, not a lot at all. It's fine, though. Don't think we'll be able to afford a red item, are we? No, sadly not. But I think taking two of these is probably a good idea. I don't even know what that is. Probably should have gone down here, actually. Damn. So that would have been interesting. A little bit of a diversion into another area. Okay. Sl slumbering satellite. Chest off the bat. What's going on out there? Can we reach that? That we can. What's this? Not much, apparently. Not much. I think you get more distance from this ability with higher movement speed. Because it seems like I'm going way further than before. That might just be me being stupid, but... It feels like it. But this area, I remember being super difficult to find the, uh, the teleporter on. That's that. I don't get anywhere near enough for that. Okay, we're, we're at the point now where we're absolutely destroying things that... Oh, hello. I did not see you there before. Yeah, look at this one. We've got our damage stacked up. It just annihilates. I want to take, um, thing is because they can fire missiles now. Right. This is going to be a journey to find the teleport, which I imagine is going to be quite a long journey. As I've said before, it's a little difficult to find it on this area. Big chest over there, though. We'll grab that. A few smaller chests here. Another crowbar. Ooh, a legendary. What will it be? Not the best one, but decent. Freezing nearby enemies. I need some more money for this. Oh, fuck. What the hell was that? There's something who dropped through the, through the world next to me. As I said before... Still have no idea where the teleporter is. Mm, there's some blue sparklies over there, but it's normally red sparklies we're looking for, so I don't think that's right. Oh, bit of, bit of, bit of the, the good old uke. Right, let's go up on top of this and see if we can see much from over here. I'm not really seeing the sparklies. We've got another one of these. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Shift the destination. Good, good. Corona bubbles, whatever. Head another item drop. Ooh, another void item here. Um, all of your attacks become progressively slower and more powerful. That seems really bad. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's good? Nah, I'm, I'm gonna stick with what I've got going on right now. Right, let's spawn in the boss. I don't actually know what my active's doing, but I'm throwing air enemies. It does something to do with distracting. Oh, 
Apparently we do actually have to charge this one. Oh no, there's just another boss left. I didn't see you there. Big lad, I didn't see you there at all. The game still feels really loud, by the way. I always, like, swap between if it sounds too loud or not, but it seems really loud. Oh god damn, there's so many portals here for us to choose from. Oh, I missed the item as well, it's another yellow. My bad. My bad. Right. Again, not quite enough for a legendary. We've got whatever this is. Uh, some crit glasses also is kind of good. I kind of want to go with this and get a few more of these going on. Yeah. And just see see how powerful we can make drones. Oh! Uh. Oh, dude, that's crazy. Okay, I, I, I probably shouldn't abuse that considering I have literally unlimited. But I do want to see what that legendary is. Can I do that in unlimited times then? No, I can't. Okay, that, that's fair. That's fair. Free a survivor? What? I already have all the survivors unlocked. What's, what's that going to do? Alrighty then. Right, let's go down here this time. Do a null portal. I like these, they're fun. They're, they're a challenge, and you can get some good stuff from them, but they're fun. I said, Survivors of the Void just added some really, really cool stuff to the game. Oh, Lord. Did it have to be these guys? Oh, my Lord. Grab that chest real quick, why not? I like the way that we just keep a bunch of our barrier now. That's a really, really good little uh, item there. I'm not quite sure what that big white orb is. I've seen that a few times now. Slightly confusing. Still don't know what I do with those coins. I quite like this. Oh, dude, we're, we're at the point now where we're absolutely demolishing. Our damage is crazy. Hello. Goodbye. Our damage has become quite wild. And we're pretty survivable as well. Got a lot of survivability. I'm annoyed that I got rid of my golden boy, though. Yeah, dude, there's, there's too many modded items that affect barrier decay. <laughs> barrier just becomes insane. Increase attack speed, not bad. Move faster at lower HP, that's kind of good. We've got Stern Boys, we also got Sticky Bomb. Although I don't think Sticky Bomb's going to affect us too much. Like, it will a little bit, because the machine gun guys fire a lot of shots, but I don't think it should do enough damage to kill us, for the most part. I like the way these count as teleport events as well, so you get all the healing and effects and stuff like that through these. Pretty useful. Makes those items a little less trash. Just a straight flat 8% extra damage. Don't mind if I do. Okay. 
like that. Okay, now they've got barrier. Pretty good item for them to get, actually. I don't think barrier really does much for the enemies. Melee strike with your utility skill to recharge it. What? What does that mean? <laughs> As in, like, if I dash into enemies, does that do something? I don't know how that works. I'm not sure. Okay, that's like I was a little bit of barrier. But yeah, as I said, barrier we can just kind of beat through pretty quick. So a lot of stone golems now instead of the machine gun guys, which is preferable to be honest. Right, there you go. Reduce incoming damage. Okay, we've got some brass contraption boys. They're always a little difficult. Oh, god damn. By a little difficult, I mean they almost killed me instantly. Holy shit. Gonna have to be very careful around those boys. Keep an eye on the skies, boys. Keep an eye on the skies. So they do some hefty damage. I think just multiple of them hit me at once or something. Okay, that should be pretty much it for this one. Uh, I'm going to go with the armor while sprinting, to be honest. I think that's going to be pretty useful. I sprint, obviously, all the time, so... Right, so now they've gained three of the pickaxes, which I can't remember what they do. Movement speed, increase with decreasing HP, so they're just going to get a lot faster at lower HP. Which, again, isn't too bad. Mainly bad for the stone titans than anything else. But at the minute, we're kind of shredding, so... I do not mind. I'm scared for where the brass contraptions are going to come in. There's got to be a few of them around. There you go. There's one. There's two. Oh, they just one shot that guy. Um. Yeah, that seems good. Okay, and now we've got some Elder Lemarians. Okay, this is this is a pretty fucked wave right here. Luckily, Brass Contraption is going to be the main thing we have to deal with to start with until things get up here. I don't like the idea of Elder Lemarians doing anything with us. Yeah, they're all kind of just chilling down there at the moment. Dude, the movement speed is so funny when they when they get going. I see you're shielding up as well. The shield actually just seems to help them. I didn't think it would. Good, good. Um, I don't actually know which one of these these I want to take. I'll go with that in case I get better equipment, but right now it's not super useful. Right, where are we going now? There you go. It was a little hard to find where we're going. This is the last one, right? No, two more. And this time they've got bands. Holy shit. Yep, okay. I got revived, but... It's obviously corrupted a bunch of stuff. So I don't... The run's entirely different now. It might be better. It might be worse. We'll have to see. Okay, my attack speed's definitely lower. Kind of sucks. Okay, damage-wise, this seems pretty amazing. Uh, who are you? <laughs> Why are you my friend now? <laughs> Where did you come from? Right. 
Uh, periodically re recruit void uh, enemies. Nice. All sorts of weird now. This, this run's just not at all what we signed up for, but... It seems very good damage-wise. We've got to remember as well, there's a bunch of items that aren't voidable. There's a bunch that are, but there's also a bunch that aren't. Dude, I am recruiting a lot of these void enemies. I like it. They're just constantly coming into hell. I think Polyloot's definitely helping out. Will the Wisp in there now as well. Boy. This run got a bit weird. Okay. Transfire a hook. Um, skills have no cooldowns. Oh, hello. I didn't expect to get a crab in here. Oh, my movement speed is so trash now. Yeah, this, this this ability definitely goes less distance if you've, uh... Why can't I jump anymore? Can you normally jump in this game? Am I, am I stupid? You can jump, right? Yeah, you can normally jump. What's, what's going on with my jumps, then? They we're going a bit weird. Let's go back to the null portal. Well, this is this has got all gone pear shaped now, hasn't it? There's some wacky stuff in there. <laughs> I do like that idea of the deer, though, the corrupted deer. Change every single thing into a corrupted item that can possibly be a corrupted item. That's just pretty cool. Hello. My god. <laughs> yeah, we can one-shot a lot of enemies. A lot of the weaker ones. Some of them we don't even have to move to, to kill. I think the one-shot protection could be quite good here, don't you? Changing equipment, please. Yes. Where are the enemies at? Yeah, give me new equipment. This one's trash. The volcanic egg isn't exactly great, but I'll take it. Okay. Do we just go straight for the boss? I incinerated drones back to life. Where did that come from? I thought that's been gone for a while. Ooh, I think I will take ATG Missile Launcher. Yes, please. Try it. Dagger, that's going to get corrupted. Every 30 seconds, mark an enemy and strengthen them. Defeated in time, they drop an item. If not, they drop nothing. That seems interesting. Seems dangerous, but it seems interesting. Right, keep going. Because there's our marked enemy that's just fallen off the map or something? What's, what's going on with this guy? My marked enemy seems to be, uh... Is it a magma worm? Oh, it's one of these guys, okay. Is it dead? It is. Did I get an item? Got an item for leveling up there. I don't know. I'm just gonna go. Oh, hello. Good to see you there. Wow. So this enemy got marked over here. He's empowered. And we get an item, dude. Okay, that's pretty powerful. That's pretty saucy. Right, let's go for this. There's a lot going on right now. A 
but we are absolutely demolishing bosses. So that's good. Another item there. Yeah, this seems very powerful, being able to get more items just by killing things that it marks that are very easy to kill. It's one of those runs where I feel like carrying on until we can't anymore. Look at that. Oh my lord. Give me an item, you. A thousand for a regular chest now. What's this little ball? It moved. Chest there. Purple feather's kind of nice. I don't know if that's going to get corrupted or not, though. The amount of void enemies it gives us is kind of crazy. I don't know what this is. Oh, hello. You alright? That's 3,500 for that shrine. Oh, there's our enemy. Go get him, go get him. Give me an item. Huzzah! <laughs> Try and find the teleporter while we're div dithering about here. Ooh, big chest. There it is, I see it. Wow, that guy just died like instantly. Right, good to go. God damn, the void items. It's, I think it's the dealing more damage to enemies at low HP thing that we've got. The crowbar one is just doing work right now. I think once we get like below a certain level of HP, we just do insane damage. I'm going to try and figure out which one it is. Where's the corrupted crowbar? It's one that we've got multiple of. Deal 30% damage to enemies with lower HP, yeah. And there's anything lower than half with electro damage. We deal 30% times 4. Come to give me an item, have you? Excuse me! No! That was my item, you prick! Okay, it's here. <laughs> he really was just like, nah, I'm, I'm a bounce. Oh, hello. Oh, it's you! With the sack. I forget you exist sometimes. He got revived, what the hell? He's immune now as well, what the hell's this? guy doing. Oh, shit! I have no idea what killed me there. My god. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys in the next one.